This can be a difficult and abstract concept for young students to grasp, but I find that using a coin funnel helps them gain a visual understanding of the concept of tonal center. If you've never seen a coin funnel before, it's this large funnel that you put a coin in and the coin swirls and swirls around until it ultimately lands inside the center hole. We have one at our local library and it's often used to collect donations. But first, let's look at a more formal definition of tonal center. In tonal music, there's a note and its scale and chord that each piece is built on. That note provides us with a feeling of relaxation and release in contrast with all the adventures the music takes us on. It gives us the sensation of having arrived at home. So where does the coin funnel come into the conversation of tonal center? The coin funnel is actually a great analogy for a piece of music. The coin starts its journey and it spirals and spirals around the funnel. But as it travels, it is constantly being pulled towards the center of the funnel. Tonal music is the same. A piece has a center that pulls the entire musical journey towards it. The music revolves around that tonal center until... And in the end, the music finds its way home to the home note or chord, and the musical journey is over. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments, and please share it with your students.